Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Beauty Is She. And today I'm coming um, at you with something that has been heavily on my mind. I dreamed about this topic three days in a row. And I tried to ignore it. I tried to ignore it. But consistency like that, it can only come from God. So I just feel like somebody needs to hear this and I want to share it. Um, also, I want to tell you too that whenever I do come to you with these type of videos, me just talking to you, you know, like girl talk, I'm only coming from experience. I don't like to speak on something that I have not experienced myself. And Sometimes I wish, A, I had have listened to people that were talking to me, trying to give me knowledge when I was younger, or B, um, that I had to listen to my mother. So um, we learn from our mistakes. We learn through things that happen to us through life. And sometimes people just need to hear it because you know what? There have been times when I was going through some things and a stranger, a mere stranger that didn't even know me from Adam just sat down. We were just discussing it and they put me up on some game. So today's topic is about investing. Okay. Investing. And when I'm saying investing, I'm not talking about stocks and bonds. I'm not talking about that kind of investing. I'm not even talking about purchasing a home. I'm talking about investing in yourself yourself. So let's just go ahead and let's jump on into this. Many of us are mothers and our priority, our top priority is our children, our household. If we're married, our husband. If we're engaged, our fiance. If we're in a relationship, our significant other. But what about ourselves? You know, there's a lot of times we forget about ourselves. How can we be the best mother to our children if we're not happy from within? How can we be the best wife, fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be, if we're not 100% happy within? In order to be the best to someone else, you got to be good to yourself. Got to be good to yourself. It starts with you. There's nothing wrong with investing in your own happiness. Taking 15, 20 minutes to just relax and recoup. Making sure that you have peace within yourself. It starts with you. You got to be the best you. God did not put us here on this earth to not be the best us. And you're not selfish if you invest in yourself. And again, when I say investing, I want you to completely understand what kind of investing I'm referring to. Your health, well-being, your peace. Are you even thinking about your future? Are you trying to invest in your future? Are you just thinking about your children? Because you also got to think about you. Because when the children have gone and they're off to college, you're going to be sitting at home like, oh my God. All of those years me being a mother and I didn't even take time for myself. Please invest in yourself. Don't be afraid or ashamed to take time for you. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. Sometimes it might even take a couple of minutes out of your day to get up, stretch, you know, work out in the morning. Have a nice breakfast, tea. Most importantly, speak to the Father on a spiritual level every single day. Let's invest in our spirituality. Let's definitely invest in the relationship that we have with our Maker. That's a huge investment because if you invest in time in the Lord, He's going to invest in you. And your steps, when your steps are ordered, oh Lord, when I tell you that the Lord will open up doors for you, that you know what nobody but him, he will do it for you. And I'm telling you because he has done it so many times in my life, so many times in my life. And I don't even want to start because I start to crying because he's just so good. He is so good. So number one, invest in your spirituality. Don't forget to have a relationship with the Lord. 
pick up that Bible and feed your spirit with scriptures. You're worth it. Your happiness means everything. If it don't mean anything to anybody, it needs to mean something to you. I've always said, a happy mother makes happy children. A happy wife makes a happy household. If you're not in order, how do you expect for your household to be in order? Invest in being an organized person. Because I'm trying to tell you, if you're trying to survive, not necessarily survive, that's not the word. But if you're trying to fo be focused and your household is unorganized, if you're unorganized, it's so hard to be focused I'm trying to tell you and also if your house is not clean how can you be focused invest in yourself it starts from within all the way down here all the way up into here invest in yourself stand tall and walk with your head held high your back arched there's nothing wrong with that invest in you if you don't have a career, invest in your career. If there's things that you, if you've had goals in life and they've gone untouched or they haven't even started, let's go ahead and let's get it started. Sometimes it even starts with something as simple as just this. I bought this last night. I like to do this almost every year. I slacked the past couple of years, but a yearly planner. Get yourself a yearly planner. I picked this up from Walgreens. It was only $2. And you can just open this up and you can start making small, simple goals. If you didn't, if you don't have your high school diploma, you can do that online, you know, or maybe if you want to go back to school, um, if you want to further your education, what's stopping you? Sometimes the only person that's stopping us is truly us. Don't forget that you're in control of yourself and also do not give anybody power over you and don't forget that we we show people how we want to be treated okay you have to set the standards on how you want to be treated that's also an investment in your relationships I just want all my sisters my brothers to be the best that you could possibly be I just want that for everybody God did not put us here for us to be unhappy in this life because we already got to go through so much let's go through life as happy as we possibly can be and invest in ourselves so that we can be the best person for people surrounding us our children our, our uh, significant other, your husband, your cousins, your mother, your aunts, uncles, friends, church family. It starts within. Make the investment in yourself. And I'm so glad that I got that off my system because it has just really been, like I said, three days. I've been having this dream just about investing, investing, investing in yourself. Don't be afraid to take time for yourself, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.